Hi guys, welcome to my Black Friday preview video or review video, whatever it is. I do this every year. I am an affiliate of the Green Man. He's very green, guys. Which basically means that I get a tiny little percentage of any sales that you guys make, provided you click the link in the description of, of any of my videos. It's one of the top links in the description, just under the video. You'll see Green Man Gaming link. Click that and then have at it, buy whatever you want, and um, you will help me to buy pizzas. So, without further ado, guys, I give you the Black Friday sale. All right, so let's start then. What are we are gonna start with? I think we'll just go down and just see what's what. 3D Mark, I remember that. Remember the 3D Mark? Used to all run that and brag to your mates, ah, my PC's better than your scumbag toaster. <laughs> Didn't even realize that was still going, guys. Uh, oh, by the way, when you buy stuff on this, after clicking the link in the description, yeah, um, it tells you what the key is gonna be for. So for example, if you were to buy Bioshock, you would just get a Steam key for that in the email from Green Man Gaming. It, it, that's how it works. And I've also checked the Steam uh, sale that's on at the minute. And as usual, Green Man Gaming is just cheaper. I mean, if you look at Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition there for £21, I think it's £24 for the same Deluxe Edition on Steam. So you cannot beat the Green Man, guys. The Evil Within 2, haven't played it, but £4.25, I've heard it's really good, but I don't know. Uh, Zombie Army Trilogy, well, I played the last one, I think I did a review, that was decent. Oh, the Kerbal Space Program, definitely worth a buy of that, they're awesome. Wolf and, uh, Dishonored 2, definitely, definitely, definitely. Fiver, fiver, guys. Fallout New Vegas, wait, of Ultimate Edition, £4. <laughs> So no, these are no-brainers. Cossacks, I played the first one, haven't played Cossacks 3. Uh, Men of War Assault uh, Squad 2, gold, I don't know, but for a fiver. Can you go wrong for a fiver? Yeah, you can. Uh, Borderlands 3, yeah, it's worth a buy. 15 notes, 69 off, guys. 69, my favourite number. Mac Bandai Namco. <laughs> Mac, you got to press it. Stop. I know you hate them, but oh, let's do it. Bandai Namco. Little hope, yeah. Fucking little hope of me ever liking Bandai Namco. Dark Souls. Hey, if you like that kind of thing. 15 notes. Nightmare and never played. No, no, never, never. Never see, see guys, never, nah, never played any of these. And nah, all this. Bethesda, f off, please. What these got? Elder Scrolls Online. Mm, apparently it's good now, but nah, I didn't like it. Um, what done to uh, Fallout 76 Wastelanders, guys. Now, I've actually heard that's decent, but I'm never gonna see it until I've played it, and I haven't played it. And Fallout 76 was like an asshole, pretty much. Uh, New Vegas, there it is again. Uh, Skyrim, awesome, a tenner. Uh, Doom, the original Doom. No, it's not the original, it's Doom 2016, that. Three quid, definitely worth buy. Evil Within, tripe, I didn't like that, but apparently that one's good. Prey, oh, five pound, if you don't, if you like, look. Hey, guys, Prey, why do ring the bell there? I don't know. Prey is awesome, five quid, bloody Nora, get it. This, on the other hand, is all right. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was the sisters one, which is awful. Uh, Dishonored 2 goes without sin. Rage, definitely two quid for Rage. And Rage 2 was awesome, I reviewed that. Was that last year or this year? 74 off, that's definitely worth that, but that's the deluxe edition as well. It's in the game. We're doing a year, guys. Squadrons, it's got an amazing story, guys. <coughs> Hang on, that needs a horn. There we go. Um, but it just shows how bad that game was that it's now 44 off and it's only just come out a few weeks ago. I mean, sad in it. That's all right for 20 bills. Um, Journey to... Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> <gasps> Need for Speed, guys, is not very good. Uh, 28 off, but uh, Battlefield 5, if you like your Battlefields to sound like a hen knight, then that is the game for you with 13 builds. It's all right, actually. It's all right, it's had a lot of work. It's definitely worth it for 13 pound, definitely. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for a fiver is worth a buy, guys. Uh, I re-reviewed that this year, and it is bloody decent now. It's a decent game now. That is a steal, guys, a steal. Command & Conquer Remastered, 11 pound 23. That is definitely worth a buy. Great. I just reviewed it not so long ago. A Way Out, Tragic, 
a travesty of tragicness uh, anthem no fun com where the games just aren't fun that's that's just a joke of course they are there's some cracking games in here like um uh um there there's one mutant road to eden that is a bit like um uh, uh so if you like that you will definitely like this i reviewed it uh, so you can check that out it's one of them turn-based tactical things you know Gears Tactics, it's a bit like Gears Tactics, only with pigs and ducks. Actually, Conan isn't too bad, it really isn't. It's it's not too bad, I've heard good reports about Conan, and we had a bit of a good laugh when we played it, so why is there a squirrel there with red eyes? Konami, guys. Metal Gear Survive. No thanks. Um, or oh, was that decent? Shit. Be right back. It's hideous. It's, it offers nothing. It offers nothing. If you're going to make a game, you have got to have that progression. You've got to have that sense that the player's doing something that's remotely fun. You know what that word means? F-U-N. Fun. As in, hey, this is good. I'm enjoying myself. Not erecting a f***ing fence every five seconds and prodding shit through it. That's not fun. Stealth. Oh, it's a stealth game, Mac. You're playing it wrong. Stealth. The blind is f***. You can go and claw around the f***. They only see you if you're directly looking at the c**ts. It's, it's a shit stealth game. It's a shit action game. It's just a shit story. It's got shit survival, shit mechanics. It's clunky as f**k. I don't mind a bit of story, but I kind of draw the line at an hour's worth of f**king cutscenes running around killing sheep and eating three of the f**kers every ten minutes and prodding zombies through a chain link fence for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours with little to no progression. It's boring. It's bull shit and it's shite. There is no way you need to design games a hell of a lot better than this if you're going to put a $34.99 price tag on it. It's absolute bullshit. I think that uh, covers uh, Metal Gear Survive guys. <clears throat> Crusader Kings 3 guys, definitely worth a buy. Prison Architect, definitely worth a buy. Magic 2 was alright. Uh, Planetfall, never played that for ages. City Skylines is just fantastic. Stellaris is wow. Definitely, definitely. Some of these prices are just incredible. Hearts of Iron 4, fantastic. Oh, that's that's an add-on. La Resistance, never played that. Tyranny, I, I played that as well. I've reviewed that. I can't remember if it was good or bad. Pillars of Eternity, I think I've reviewed that as well. There's some really good prices here, guys. Uh, and most of these are cheaper than Steam prices as well. I knows it because I've checked them. Square Enix, guys. Oh, yeah. If there's one game you've got to buy this year, it's not f***ing Marvel's Avengers. That was tragic. Uh, it's almost dead now in the water. £25. It's not worth 25 pence, in my opinion. Garbage. Um, um, just Cause 4. Absolute trash. Uh, do sex. Um, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Square Enix, you're not... Supreme Commander 1, that's a steal! RTS game, really good RTS game, guys. Team 17, the people have brought you worms, guys. Overcooked 2's good. Hell Let Loose is good. Uh, there's the worms. Uh, Escapist's good. Um, my Time Up Porsche, I mean In Porsche, is good. Uh, Even Colony's good as well, I like that. Uh, some good games here, guys. Actually, before I go down this list, I'm going to tell you stuff that I happen to know between the 27th and 20th of November. Featured deals, Star Wars Squadrons for £19. Bloody hell. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War Definitive Edition, £6. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 45 49 Borderlands 3 Standard for 14 19 The Ultimate for 50 99 Red Dead Redemption 2 Standard Edition, £33.16. Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, £8.50. Destiny 2 Forsaken, £8.50. Crusader, Crusader, Crusader Kings 3, 28 22 uh, Call and Exiles, 11 56 Mafia Definitive Edition, complete with throwing stupid grenades over your shoulder with pinpoint accuracy, 22 57 uh, Control Ultimate Edition, £14.87, guys. Control. That is an awesome, awesome game. And Death Stranding Postman Simulator, 2419. So we've got B Simulator, bzz, don't know, 
Aston or Mars handball. Let's have a quick look. Warhammer Chaos Bin. We've seen quite a few of these because we've been going through the actuals. There's Ghost Run. I played it for the first time today, only for five minutes. Um, and I was AFK most of the time. Um, it, it's it's all right. It's all right, but I'm not reviewing that quite yet. I'm doing Hades first. Um, 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 um. The Outer Worlds, definitely good game. 40 notes, 42 off that. So it's £22 for the basic Outer Worlds. Uh, I don't know what that is. Non mandatory. We'll have to check it. Um, Dwarf Hammer, I haven't got around to reviewing that yet as well. There's Squadrons again. Port Royale 4, I, I reviewed that not so long ago. I'm pretty sure it was Port Royale 4. Don't ever be tempted to buy that. <laughs> well, you can watch my tiny little review on it if you want, but it's up to you if you like it, I guess. Wreckfest, that's season two pass. Project Cars 3 was an absolute travesty, guys. A travesty, there's Control Ultimate Edition. If you don't have Control Ultimate Edition, do watch my review because it is a fantastic game. And my goodness, 58% off is definitely worth a buy. Frostpunk, The Edge, definitely 28 off. Seven quid for that, bloody hell. Risk of Rain 2. Oh wow, 20 off for that, guys. Brilliant, brilliant game. <clears throat> Fast and Furious Crossroads. It should be 100 off. I love that game, Destroy All Humans. It's, again, something else I've reviewed. 20 off, guys. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. This video has gone on for ages. I haven't time to cover. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Desperados 3, guys. Um, fantastic game that uh, I reviewed it this year um, in with a shout for an award in my uh, awards later on this year 40 off 40% 40 off that's the deluxe edition as well uh, there's the standard edition for 26 99 that's 40 off as well definitely worth a buy but as always guys do check the reviews first uh, and also as well so let's say I was clicking on this always check the key when you buy it'll say which key you're going to get uh, this one specifically will give you this video is age restricted ah oh, i'm not old enough to watch it um this will give you a steam key so basically don't forget if you are going to buy to support the channel click the link in this video description if you like just underneath it'll say green man gaming link it's in all my videos click that off you go have have at it guys and i do want to personally thank everybody who does buy game from Green Man Gaming after clicking the link in the description because it does help me. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next video, which is probably going to be Hades in a, a day or two's time. See you later.